So I'm on with my uh, ad guy Joey here and uh, we're talking about Facebook reporting. I just found out a couple of little new buttons, uh, new features that we could do that I thought uh, were pretty helpful. So uh, if you hear me talking with someone, that's who I'm talking with. Uh, all right, so what I did, Joey, here is I go to, and I was looking at our campaign, uh, our own internal campaign. And the settings here is I wanted to see, I, I added a couple of new ads in there. And I wanted to see how how each ad was performing, not just the campaign. And then I never really played around in this data breakdown section, so I started playing around with that. And uh, I'll show you what it kind of shows. So you do save columns, and so now I can go over here, drag this over here, so it's more relevant. Come on. Come on, computer. It's over so that it makes the information a little bit easier to see. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sort by cost per click. And then this lets me see which of my ads, as well as which placement on Facebook is giving me my lowest click prices and then I look at the unique click through instead of the regular click through because the regular click through can mean people clicking on page likes and it, it just Facebook kind of pollutes that data so I look at the unique click through and um, we see here that my caricature ad got pretty much the most clicks, I mean one of the higher level of clicks, and it was getting the, the the lowest cost per click, had a decent unique click through rate, getting page likes, and then we're able to now see that it was also if I'll if it was on the it was on the right right column ads, not in the news feed, which is surprising. Uh, then there was one other thing here, man. You can break this down even farther. You go to edit columns, and instead of by placement, go age and gender. And this is how we'll be able to really dial in the campaigns. Uh, <clears throat> wait for the age and gender to show up again. Yeah, it was a huge amount of information that was pretty hard to to read. You had to really look through it all. So, okay, we've got it sorted by cost per click here. And I'm actually going to sort it by volume of clicks because I don't really care if I'm getting 17 cent clicks if I'm only getting two of them a day. That sucks. Um, come on, drag over here. age and gender we'll take a look at my cost per click you know the higher volume of clicks is what I'm what I'm looking for I don't want cheap clicks is great but I want cheap clicks and a high volume of clicks so we see here that while these aren't my cheapest clicks because we got some 18 cent ones uh, we got some 22 and 23 and we have high volume and we have a high unique click-through rate what's the what's the gender and age so now I know I can cut out everybody else from the campaign and just go after this 20 percent of the people that we're targeting and this this is what we should be doing on all the campaigns I know some of them we already have them drilled in because we've been working them for a while and this is kind of our process but I wanted to show you this part of the reporting so that you can see it I mean it's just much easier information I've ever seen on here before
Cool, man. So that's just what I wanted to show you. That way we'll be able to break them down. You'll be able to you know, add in the other columns so you can see by country, by placement, by gender, age. And then what we can do is we can kind of come up with a new campaign based on that data and have it drilled into like the premium, premium people. And it might only shave a few cents off per click, but it might also give us a much higher volume if we're if we're looking at things correctly, you know. Cool. All right, man. I'll talk to you soon.